Hello and welcome back for part 13 of Castle Brokenhead Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time we were able to make it all the way over to Cantlin and uh, bought ourselves a flaming sword. Uh, we now need to acquire uh, 14,800 gold in order to get the silver shield, so we need to double what we currently have. This will be no small undertaking, and I'm going to start by grinding around the Hawk's Nest area. Uh, the one thing that I want to make sure of, though, is that I'm not uh, taking you guys along for uh, endless hours for boring fights. Which is why, uh, despite having finished that one fight already, uh, what I actually plan to do is only bring you back into it uh, when we've got a new enemy. Aside from that, I plan to do all of my grinding off screen. Uh, as I say that though, we have just encountered our first new enemy, the Rogue Scorpion. They have about 35 hit points, which may not seem like a lot, but they have an attack of 60 and a defense of 90, so it's hard to hit them for very much. Their speed is 127, they can give up to about 110 gold, and they give 26 experience points. They have no special abilities, so the key thing is going to be just trying to do as much damage as we can. Uh, fortunately, we do have the best sword in the game, uh, other than Lodo's sword. So you see, with uh, 26 experience points, they may actually be worthwhile. Uh, I will be back shortly uh, once I find another new enemy. There's at least, uh, let's see, one, two more in the immediate vicinity. Uh, so we will see how long that takes. Well, that certainly didn't take very long. We have our next new enemy, the Demon Knight. Uh, he has 50 hit points, 79 attack points, uh, 64 defense, speed of 255. Uh, he can give up to 150 gold, and he gives 37 experience. He has no special abilities, but man does he hit hard, as we are about to learn... Uh, it is going to be a pretty brutal fight, or at least I thought it was going to be. Uh, so that was the Demon Knight, uh, as you can see, really didn't take long to find him. Uh, so I will bring you back again uh, when and if I locate the last new monster uh, in this southern region uh, as we go further down south. There are metal slimes, but the odds of me running into one uh, are low, and the odds of me actually killing one are insanely low. Uh, so you've rejoined me for a night, and I will heal up, and then I will see you back here either when I've got some more gold or when I'm ready to show you another new monster. I almost can't believe my eyes, folks. Uh, we have one here. Metal Slime. Uh, what can I tell you about the Metal Slime? It has 4 hit points, 10 attack points, 255 defense, 255 speed. It only gives 6 gold, but it gives 115 experience. He can cast Hurt. This is the first appearance of the Metal Slime. The Metal Slime appears in every subsequent Dragon Quest game along the main series. They are tough, almost impossible to hit, and in the end, they're the best source of experience. Wow, I can't believe he actually stuck around for that long. And there it is. Uh, he runs away. The odds of killing one in this game are extremely low. 
And that is the last new monster of the area. Uh, so the next time that I have you rejoin me, uh, we will have the gold necessary, and it will be time uh, to go and purchase the silver shield. And welcome back. Here we have the Star Wyvern. I know I went over the stats for this already. Uh, but as you can see, I nearly have all the gold needed. And I've decided that I want to show you uh, this one getting killed. Uh, the way to deal with a Star Wyvern, like so many things, is to put it to sleep whenever possible. Wow, it does not seem possible right now, so we're going to find out if it actually is. Alright, we've got it asleep now. Now we just have to hope it stays asleep long enough for us to do some serious damage. Alright, this is not going well for me. Uh, this is why I was unsure whether or not to even make the attempt with this thing. Now we're going to try to cancel out its ability to heal itself. And at the very least, we can keep it from uh, regenerating. as we try to survive its onslaught of attacks. And now he can't heal himself any longer? We've finally defeated him! Whew, that was a close one, folks. Alright, so I will either uh, have you rejoin me in Cantlin, or um, when I find another one of the new enemies, should I decide that it is worth fighting? Alright, we are back, and here we have another new monster. It's the Werewolf. I don't know whether or not I'm actually going to survive this fight, uh, but I guess we're going to find out. Uh, the Werewolf has about 60 hit points, has an attack of 86, Defense of 70, speed of 127, can give up to 155 gold, and gives 40 experience points. Not only is he one tough motherfucker, on top of that, Sleep has a very low hit rate on him. Unfortunately for us, I can't survive a fight against him without putting him to sleep, so this is going to be pure chance. And it's about hoping that he stays asleep. Uh, see how many turns it takes me to... Okay, I can kill him in three attacks. I can probably take three attacks from him. The fourth one would kill me. So I would need to hit him on every attack. Uh, that is going to give us enough gold now, though. So that we can get our brand new shield. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Fourteen thousand eight hundred gold in exchange for a silver shield. Wow, that was something. Just wow. So now I'm just going to get a good night's sleep, and then uh, next time, uh, when we rejoin, I am going to get myself up to at least level 17, 
Uh, and then we are going to go for the... I'm going to show off the last couple of new monsters uh, for this area. And then we will at long last venture in to Hawksness, where we will be attempting to get Lodo's armor. So join me next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest. Until then, stay frosty.